there can be no mistaking the owner of that proud voice. The Queen Mary was on her way home from New York for the last time. It was a voyage that all those fortunate enough to make will never forget. Days and nights of farewell parties that left her passengers to catch up on lost sleep below decks. Now the party was over. In a pattern set by her, she made for Southampton, as she'd done a thousand times before. But there were still those who couldn't resist the temptation of lunch from one of the world's best seagoing kitchens. On the Queen Mary, it's quite a temptation. Perhaps for most, it was a time of quiet and sadness. A time also to prepare for the great Queen's welcome home. And so she headed peacefully for port. On the bridge, a proud time for the men bringing her to the welcome she so rightly deserved. fussed around the grand old ship as they had so many times before. But this time it was different, because this was her thousand and first Atlantic crossing. It was also her last. How splendidly they saluted her. Gently, she came alongside the quay, which throughout her career has been her British home. There was no doubting the enormous pride everyone on shore and aboard felt for her. She was and will remain a triumph of British shipbuilding. And so the crowds cheered, the streamers flew and the sirens blasted. One more cruise was ahead of her and then a well-earned retirement. The Atlantic reign of a queen had come to an end.